Welcome to this guided walkthrough of Super Studio's brand new Model Maker feature. In this video, we'll go through the steps to train your own custom AI models, which we'll then use to generate images and videos with unprecedented consistency and control, all within Super Studio. Whether you want to capture a character, a place, a specific style, or an object, Model Maker learns from your images and then helps you generate new original visuals that match your unique vision. So now that we've got the basics down, let's get started. Head to your Super Studio Canvas and open the Explore menu by clicking the Create button. Go to the Co-Create tab and add the Model Maker flow to your canvas. Now it's time to gather your images. You will need a minimum of five clear quality images for training. As you can see on the Model Maker, you can either link one of your existing collections or make a new collection by dragging and dropping any images from your desktop or materials here. I'm going to start with this collection of images I already have starring Super Studio's mascot and muse named Kiko. I'm going to link the Kiko collection to the Model Maker flow and you can see that Model Maker validated the number of images in the collection. For more information on training data best practices, check out the Model Maker FAQ linked in the description. Now we have to make some choices. First, you'll want to select your model type. Determine if your images best represent place, character, object, or style. For this Kiko model, we'll choose character. Next, you'll set your keyword. Think of keywords as calling cards to summon your model into your prompts later. For this one, I'll just use Kiko. Then, I would keep this link to flow box checked to make this process really easy on ourselves. You'll see what this means in a few seconds. Okay, time to generate. This costs 250 credits, but once created, you can use your model unlimited times. Great, the custom model is now generating. And because we chose to link to flow, Super Studio automatically set up the rest of the workflow for us. You can see that the Kiko model was automatically put into a collection that is now linked to our other new flow, Image Lab 2.0. While we wait for our custom Kiko model, which can take a few minutes, let's explore what we can do in Image Lab 2.0. As with all flows, you can input a subject whether it's a text prompt or reference image. Below that, you'll see this new ability to add custom models. Any model you create in Super Studio will show up here. Along with some Kyber custom models are team created for you to play with. You'll notice the different models have icons showing what model type they are. Again, we have object, place, style, and character options. Just to note, right now Image Lab 2.0 is the only flow that supports custom models. However, most of our video flows support image uploads, so later in this demo, I will show you how to turn your custom model images into videos, which is very exciting for the narrative storytellers out there. Finally, the last element of the Image Lab 2.0 flow is image details, which is where you can select your desired aspect ratio. I'm going to use the square one to one here. Okay, now that our Kiko model is ready, let's set the weight all the way up here. In case you're unfamiliar, weights, or sometimes called parameters, determine how much influence this particular element has on the output. This way, we're telling the Image Lab 2.0 flow to give the Kiko model the maximum strength, so we should really see her likeness come through. You'll have to play around with this since it's all dependent on what you want to make. You'll also notice that in the subject prompt box is my model keyword, and it's highlighted. That means I've correctly called the model, and it's loaded in the flow. Now I'm going to add more to this prompt to tell Image Lab 2.0 what kind of specific output I want to see. Again, this part is totally up to you. And in fact, you could just generate as is without adding anything more to the prompt and just see what it spits out for you. But in this case, I would like more control. And because my goal is to generate images of Kiko in various environments, and outfits, I'm going to prompt things like Kiko on the moon or Kiko floating in a cloudy blue sky. Because I'm planning to experiment and iterate on my prompts a bit, I'm going to preemptively make a collection with these new images just so it can catch all of my outputs and I can keep things organized. To do this, you'll simply select your new images and click on the folder icon. I'm also going to drag this Image Lab 2.0 handle to this collections handle. To create a link between them. So now all of my new outputs will automatically show okay, up here. So we're now renaming this collection here, Kiko but Image let's Experiments. Let's push this experiment even further. With Image Lab 2.0, you can actually bring in multiple custom models. So you can say mix a character with a certain style or place, just trying whatever combinations you'd like. So I'm going to bring in this style model from our in house Kyber team called New Image, just to see what happens when we use two custom models simultaneously. 
and you can see that both model keywords are showing up highlighted here, which confirms we're calling on both models. Let's adjust our prompt a bit. You'll also want to adjust the slider weights again, depending on which model you'd like to see more of in your outputs. So for me, Kiko is more important than the new image style. So now my weights reflect that. Great. We're seeing what this combination of models is looking like so far. Another fun callout for Image Lab 2 is that similar to Image Lab 1, we have additional elements that we can add to the flow if we want, including the powerful stencil element. By adding the stencil to our flow, we can map and reproduce the shape of an image directly to a new output. I'm going to drag this image I generated earlier from my materials as a stencil because I think it'd be very cute to see Kiko in this exact same billboard image. I'm going to adjust my weights, remove the second custom model, and adjust my prompt. Now you'll notice that these new generations are coming through in a different aspect ratio, now in this horizontal 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And that's because we are matching this stencil input. So we're starting to see some of these images come through. You can also use any of your previous generations as subject image inputs and play around with the weights and see how this impacts your outputs as well. well we are seeing some more variation come through here. I think it would also be fun to swap out my stencil image for a different stencil. Again, adjusting my weights and generating. You can see now these generations are coming through in that vertical 9 by 16 aspect ratio. Awesome. So here we have some more outputs now in this new stencil. To close out this demo, let's use the power of Super Studio to immediately take some of these cool images we just generated with our custom model and animate them using some of our video flows. Now we can fast track our experimentation here by bringing in the video flows we want to try. Um, I've brought in the four video models that allow us to use an image upload as our subject. Then we can link our Kiko image experiments collection to the different video flows. Now we can run the same prompt across all these different models and just see what they all come up with. And what's great about this is the fact that these are all linked up makes it really easy to run the same models and prompt test across the various images just by adjusting the little check marks in the collection. They automatically show up here. Amazing. So now we've generated quite a bit of video content here and I've pulled out some of my favorite ones so far. Maybe we can take a quick peek together. Obviously these are a little silly and quirky because it's Kiko, um, but I think generally these look pretty good. And again, we're just scratching the surface of what's possible here with Model Maker. So there you have it. Now you know how to gather your images with collections, train your own AI model with Model Maker, use ImageLab 2.0 to generate new images that reflect your personal style or subject matter, and then quickly animate them all in one canvas. So let us know what you'll create with these new features, and don't forget to check out our FAQs in the description for more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching!